Ladies and gentlemen, mm. welcome to the F and G show. The F and G show. We are back. <laughs> yes, sir. What we got today, Frank? Mm. Well, at the grocery store. I guess I shouldn't say the grocery store, but you know, I did go to the grocery store. And uh I was looking for a red blend that I think I wanted to try. A new red blend. Of course, this is not aged in whiskey barrels like our other wine that we like so much. Copper and Thief, Cooper and Thief, or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> so this is a, a plain red blend. It's called Tension. Tension? Is that Tension? tension? I think it's just Tension. Tension, yeah. And it's uh, from California, 20... What is it? 20 what? 2018. 2018. Make sure I don't drop it um, because it's open. And it's supposed to have a juicy finish. Can you read that? You want me to read the whole thing? If you can. can. Yeah, I can see it. Let me get my eyes right. Yeah. In in this extraordinary Rhone-style red blend, dark cherry, white pepper. White pepper. Never heard of it. Mm-mm. And spring floral aromas, we'll find that out, mm-hmm. blend with dense blackberry flavors. Oh, it's got that blackberry, don't they? Sweet tannins and lead to a juicy finish. Apparently, you're supposed to enjoy this with steak. We don't have any steak. Red meat dishes and uh, hearty pastas. Or your favorite vegetable. So you can have this with some vegetables or some pasta or some red meat. Okay. So go ahead and pour it in. The bottle is pretty heavy, so I don't know if that's an indication that it's going to be good. So what's the uh, price on this here? Tension. Uh, I think that was about $21. $21. And today, I'm not going to use my normal wand. Um... Because I always want to taste the the wine first before I put the wand in it to take out the histamines and sulfites. So I'm just going to taste it without it. And then in my second glass, I'll probably put the wand in. So you smelled it already? Yeah. I've smelled it. And I can't tell. Is it is it doesn't have a strong smell like any of the other wines we've tried? No, no. It's... Smells a little bit different than the one that was real pungent, but this was not really a strong smell. No. I mean, do maybe blackberries? Yeah, I think that's pretty much the blackberries, cause they are the blackberries is always strong in in these wines. In these wines, yeah. Maybe that's the, you make it more palatable. And then. Um, when you were aging in whiskey barrels, the whiskey kind of drowns out the blackberries, I guess. Well, I don't think there's blackberries in uh, Copper and Thief, is it? No. No, I don't think. We have to check. We'll check on that. Yeah, I don't think blackberries are in Copper and Thief. Let's see. You swirl it around in your glass, I guess, to get the flavors to really... Pleasant surprise, man. Oh, is it? I can see how this could go well with meats and pastas. Hmm. This is um pretty flavorful. So yeah, mm. I would say this is pretty good with some meats and pastas. Like you said, we don't have that at this time. No, we don't have that at this time. But, but yeah, um, <clears throat> outside of that, it's pretty good. Yeah, I think this is of all the other ones we tried as a red blend, do you you want to give you what do you give this you one? Rate this one here. We'll rate this our, of, our, in comparison to the other red blends that were not Asian whiskey barrels. Um, yes, I will say uh, we've tried how many red different red blends now? It's, it's been a handful. It's been a handful now, at least four or five. Yeah. So I would say. Hmm. Hmm. I will have to say hmm. on the scale of we go from 50 
50 to 60. We'll go, we'll do what? Do the letters A, B, C, and D. F. <laughs> well, we. A, we, B, C. We gave a 90. Yeah. I think we said 70%, 90. Last time we said 70, 90% good or whatever. Okay. I think we did that, right? Well, we can go well, we'll, A, B, C, or D if you want to. I mean, it really doesn't matter. I would say out of 100, the score I would give this one would be A. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I know I gave one red blend before, B minus. Yeah. So and the I other ones, some, uh, the other ones were some C's. Yeah, I think this one was. I'll give this a B. So an 80. That'd be, is that B? So this would be 80%. Yes. I'll give it yes. a B, yeah, 80%. 80 out of 100, ladies and gentlemen. We both agree that we're going to give this a B. It's uh, not great. But it's it's pretty good. It's better it's than some of the bad. other red blends we've had. Oh yeah, it's better, much better than that. And we've had a bunch. It doesn't beat Cooper and Thief, of course, but right, right. Of all the red blends we've tried, I think this one is probably one of the better ones that we've tried. Because some of the other red blends we've tried, they either burned, burned the back of your throat, did right, it burn, right. left a, a kind of a bad aftertaste. Yes. And. Um, so this is now, th even though this is a red blend, one of the better strict red from Cali that we tried, that I liked, and we tried some other was the Prisoner, which is a straight red. And um, we tried two different Prisoner wines and we tried uh, the Warden. Yeah, yeah. And we tried the one with Snoop Dogg and the one with Snoop Dogg was a whole lot better. It was smooth red. That was a smooth red. Yeah. And we gave that about an 80 and well, 82. We just let them watch that video. And then, you know. Oh, yeah. You want to give me everything you want. <laughs> that one, we, we did that one months ago. You didn't put that up no, yet? No, I ain't put none of the wine ones out yet. I put none oh, of the wine out okay. Yet. Well, I'm trying to get stay right tuned. Because <laughs> you're going to get all of these uh, video, wine videos we've done and for wine tasting. So this one's from Santa Barbara, California. The bottle is a pretty thick, heavy bottle. And I'm I'm thinking that wines that come in heavier bottles seem to seem to taste a little better for some reason. I'm not sure why some bottles are heavier. And if you know the reason, do you know the reason why some wine bottles are more heavier than others? No, we'll Does it make the that. difference in the wine or or Good not? Thing. Couldn't tell you. But if we knew, we'll tell you the next time we do a wine. We will let you know. So yeah. I'll give this one an 80. You heard it, ladies and gentlemen? At 80 for the F&G show. So uh, any final words? No. If you want to get you a nice bottle of wine, tension, we would recommend for steak, pasta. Mm -hmm. Doesn't even back, but after burn. I do... There's a heavy, there's a, there's a heavy blackberry. I didn't taste any of the. But they did a good job with the pepper though, because it doesn't didn't burn, you know. No white pepper. Well, they white pepper job. doesn't burn anyway. Black yeah. pepper does, but white that's pepper right. doesn't. <clears throat> and yeah, um, the aroma was more dense blackberry, because we can tell that. And it says juicy finish, so I'm not juicy. sure what a juicy finish means. I mean, <laughs> I know. I Maybe mean, it's liquid. Out or <laughs> Maybe you need the meat stuff. Well, I don't know. Maybe when you have a piece of meat in your mouth and you have this, a juicy finish would mean that's what the juicy finish mean. But mm -hmm. blackberries are supposed to be juicy, so I guess. I used to eat them off the, mul the trees when we were growing up. Oh, okay. We had blackberry trees, mulberry trees, and blackberries would grow on the trees in the yard, and we'd go eat those things right off the trees. Mm. Haven't right. seen those in a long time. Those were in Baltimore, by the way. And I, did you ever eat blackberries off the trees? And no, man. Only apples, man. The apples, apples and plums. The apples and the plums. We had some plum trees in the yard. Apple and plums. No, we yeah. got down with that. All the apples and trump plums were in the yard. And see, we're dragging out a little bit here. But, you know, we have to buy all our fruit now. Why don't we just, we used to just grow, you didn't go hungry. You just, if you want, if you weren't hungry, you just go up to a tree and pick, pull some apples and blueberries mm -hmm. and or whatever is growing on the trees and plums off the trees and eat 
fruit all day long. Sure enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, <sighs> Frank reminiscing over his fruit days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this episode. Tension. We gave it an 80. Mm-hmm. This is 2018 from Santa Barbara County. California. Red wine. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the FG Show, and we are out. Out.